it feels slowly like somebody's lighting my tongue on fire and now it's really hot now 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 yeah now Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are trying a couple new hot sauces I got from Jungle Gems. So the last time I was there, I picked up three brand new sauces I have never tried before from three companies. That one of them, I love their sauces. Two other ones, I've never tried before. So these are all sauces that I've never had. And uh, I'm really looking forward to trying for you today. If it's your first time at the channel or if you have not yet, please like and subscribe. That helps the channel keep growing, keep bringing in viewers, and keeping me eating these hot things for you. Now let's get to it. Our very first sauce today is going to be from Woodstock Company. And it is their Scotch Bonnet Sauce. If I can find the middle of the camera because I'm dumb. Here we go. There is a Scotch Bonnet sauce. Now, this is the uh, Woodstock Scotch Bonnet hot sauce. No added sugars, no GMOs. Now, this is from, I believe, let's see here, Costa Rica. So, I don't know how many sauces I've had that are Costa Rican sauces. But this is a Costa Rican sauce, and I love Scotch Bonnet sauce. I love Scotch Bonnets. Jerk chicken is one of my favorite things in the entire world. I love Scotch Bonnet sauces. Um... This says it's about 1,790 Scovilles, and it is a getting hotter, so just above the mild level on their rating scale. And it says that it is water, scotch bonnet, and habanero chilies, which is good. That's going to have that nice little Caribbean feel to it, that, that Caribbean taste with those scotch bonnets and habaneros. Well, like I said, like jerk chicken or something. I bet this would be amazing on some cooked chicken to make get kind of like that jerk sauce a little bit. Um, carrots, distilled vinegar, salt, and, uh, a bunch of other stuff that kinds of hold it together, including garlic and xanthan gum. So let's go ahead and pop this baby open. See if it's good. Now, scotch bonnets aren't necessarily super hot, but they are considered a hot pepper. And I would like to put them kind of right below a habanero in my books. Um, not quite as hot as a habanero, but way more flavor, way more sweetness, um, just a great flavor to them. Uh, like I said, Scotch bonnet sauces are some of my favorite sauces I've ever had, including jerk sauce. So let's pop this baby open and see what we got. Mmm. Now you can smell the peppers in that. That is for sure. But you do get the carrots and a little bit of the garlic. The peppers and carrots are the main things I'm getting. Go ahead and do a pour here. My hands are shaking. Woo, that is a lot. Now, it is a little bit of a uh, jelly type consistency. Not super thick, but not super thin either. Kind of right there in the middle. And we do have some like seeds and chunks of uh, stuff inside of there, it looks like. So here we go. Woodstock Scotch Bonnet Sauce. Let's try it. <clears throat> Went right to the back of the throat, like always. That's great. It, this is good, though. This is really good. This is sweet. Um, you're not getting much of the carrot flavor, at least I could tell. Um, you're getting most of the pepper flavor. Heat-wise, I would say it's probably about a four. It's nothing nothing crazy, nothing insane. Uh, this would be really good on chicken. Um, but it, it's, it's a basic Scotch Bonnet sauce. You're going to get that Scotch Bonnet taste, that pepper taste. And um, you get a little bit of that garlic and that carrot in there. A little bit of sweetness. And uh, it, it, it's just good. This is this is a really really good sauce. Uh, basic Scotch bonnet sauce. Nothing nothing more. Nothing less. Moving on to sauce number two, we have the Sky Rider Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce from Sauce. Le uh, I about said Sauce Leonard. Sauce Leopard, not Sauce Leonard. I don't know who Leonard is. I'm sorry, Leonard, if you're watching this. This is Sauce Leopard. This isn't your sauce. This is Sauce Leopard. So you can see a little like. Uh, Little ghost cowboy on there. Um, the Sky Rider is what it's called. And it is made with jalapeno peppers, distilled vinegar, habanero peppers, boot jalokia peppers, tomatoes, carrots, uh, sugar, salt, garlic, and dried lemon peel and spices. So it's, it says heat level about an 8 out of 10. Um, that's probably going to be that ghost pepper. But that ghost pepper is fairly far down in it. But it does have habanero. 
and jalapenos and a ton of other stuff that makes me believe this is probably going to taste really good like that lemon peel the tomatoes the carrots sounds like a really good gourmet sauce it's probably going to taste just as good as what it's going to be hot uh to the classic country western song ghost riders in the sky or riders in the sky which if you don't know what that song is look it up that's a that's a that's a good song the Sky Rider will lasso your taste buds and knock off... I, I thought it said... I, I just... Apparently I can't read. I'm not even going to say what I thought it says. <laughs> Sky Rider will lasso your taste buds and knock off your boots with just the right amount of ghost pepper. Sweet, tangy, hot, smoky with a hint of cinnamon. Interesting. Saddle this heater up on just about anything if you're ready to ride with the devil. Um, now, Sauce Leopard is in Denver, Colorado, is where they are from, and this is the first time I've ever had a sauce by them. All right, give it a good shake. Now, this is a little bit more of a liquidy sauce. Oh, and it does have this. Let's see if I can... Nice. I hope I got that. I hope you could hear that on there, because that was a nice pop. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, that smells phenomenal. That smells, I don't know why I did that. Like you could look down the bottle and see inside of it. Mmm. Oh my God, that smells so good. It's like smoky. You can't smell a little bit of that cinnamon, like the tomato, oh, lemon, be oh, everything. That smells so good. Okay, let's do a little pure, pour, pour, pour. And I'm real curious to see how hot this sauce is going to be. Just because of some, how much stuff is in it and how low the ghost pepper was in the uh, in the ingredient ranking. But it, like I said, it does have jalapeno and habanero in it as well. So we'll see. So this is the Sky Rider um, from uh, uh, Sauce Leopard. I, I forgot the name of the company there. I'm sorry about that. Here we go. Back to throat again. <clears throat> oh my goodness, that is good. I'm waiting for it to slow burn in because I feel like it's going to be one of those sauces. And yes, it is. It is slow burning in right now. It is building and building. Wow, that is good. Holy crap. I think I'm going to go back for a little bit more of that. It's a little bit more. It's not a crazy burn. It's kind of a good burn. Like, it, it feels good. Like, it kind of, it, it, it's like a, not overwhelming burn. It's like enough to get you sweating a little bit. Oh, man, that is great. You can taste the tomato and the carrot in it. <clears throat> Some of that cinnamon, that smokiness, and the lemon peel. Holy crap, that is a great sauce hands down and the heat is a slow burn and my mouth is feeling it right now wow uh sauce leopard man good job guys this is one of the better sauces i have ever had this is a great sauce i was very worried about it being ghost pepper heavy if you want to grab a bottle of this uh you can head over to www.sauceleopard.com or at sauce leopard on instagram tiktok and twitter Sauce Leopard, go pick this up, man. Go pick this up. This is really good. The Sky Rider, uh, Ghost Pepper Sauce, tons of flavor. Uh, I, I, there's nothing else I can say about it. It's, it's just great. All right, last but not least is a very special sauce from a company I've had before. I buy sauces from regularly. And a lot of you may know this sauce company because you can find it pretty much at any grocery store that you go to. And when I saw this sauce, I was very compelled to get it because it's a brand new sauce. And I was like, whoa, what is this? And I need to try this. I need to get it. I need to try it now. And that is Marie Sharp's Red Hornet Sauce. Brand new. You can see right here. It says new on it. Um, it is Lava Heat is what it says. Now, if Marie Sharp sounds familiar to you, you can get this at most supermarkets. Not this one, but they're regular sauces. They make a lot of habanero sauces, some jalapeno sauces. 
Um, very good sauces. I love their habanero sauces. They're amazing. Now, I believe they are based out of Belize in Central America. And um, so, like I said, they normally make habanero sauces. But I was going through the sauces at Jungle Gems and I got to their sauces and just looked and I was like, "Is that, that's not a habanero sauce. What is that? And I saw Red Hornet sauce. Now, look at that label. That label is uh, beautiful. That's a beautiful label. But I was like, weird. What if that's another habanero sauce? So I picked it up and I was reading the ingredients. And the first ingredient on the back here is hornet pepper. Um, now, they do have a little bit of a brief description over here about the sauce. I will read that now. So this says, Marie's hottest sauce ever. The foothills of the Maya Mountains, where mendering rivers flow through the dense jungles of Belize, is home to Marie Sharp's family farm. There, the freshest fruits and vegetables form the foundation of Marie's famous recipes and the world's number one habanero pepper sauce, which, like I said, that is what they're known for is doing habanero sauces. The Red Hornet is derived from the notorious Trinidad Scorpion Pepper and packs Marie Sharp's most potent sting, You Asked for Hotter. So, that doesn't really describe it on there. From what I read on the actual website, it said that Marie Sharp's, uh, they have been... Uh, breeding this pepper for seven years. I guess it is. It does say on here derived from the Trinidad scorpion. On the website, it did say a Moraga scorpion and a Boot Jalokia ghost pepper um, is what the crossbreed was to try to create what is now this version of those crossbreeds uh, or those breeds of pepper to create a newer crossbreed than what has already been done between those two because I believe there's already peppers that are crossbreeds of those two. This is going to be hot because their regular habanero hot sauces are pretty, pretty warm. Ooh, has their normal kind of like a uh, little uh, dropper tab on the top of it. Oh, that smells gnarly. Again, I don't know why I keep doing that. I mean, I mean to show it to you. You see all, it kind of, it does look like her sauces. Um, just a little bit darker red rather than a orange like their habanero sauces are. My nose is running just from sniffing that. It smells like their sauces somewhat just like hotter. Oh, that smells, whoo, that smells gnarly. Okay. Um, it is going to be a little bit tough to get a good drip. It is a thicker sauce. And I'm thinking about not doing a ton of this just because I've never had this hornet pepper before. And I just kind of want to get a grasp of what it is before I go pouring a whole spoonful. Here we go. Marie Sharp's brand new hornet pepper sauce made with a crossbreed between the Moraga Trinidad Scorpion and a Boot Jalokia Ghost. Let's go. Oh, that's just a pepper mash, man. Ooh. Huh. That's going to come up on you. I mean, it is, it, it's pepper forward. And it's going to be a slow burn. It's not like insanely hot right off the bat. Like I'm still fine right now, but it feels slowly like somebody's lighting my tongue on fire and now it's really hot now 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 yeah now ha <sighs> who whoo that is a warm sauce man that is sneaks up on you ooh ha <sighs> whoo sweating that sneaks up on you man wow Ooh. <sighs> ah. Oh, now it's moved to my lips. Uh. Ah. Whew. Oh my goodness, man. That is a slow burn. Wow, that is a slow burn. Ah. Whew. Wow, man. Okay. <sighs> Flavor. It's just a mash. It tastes like hot pepper. Uh, this tastes like a super hot pepper. Um, heat. 
I mean, flavor. Let me do the 10. I can't even think straight. Uh, t uh, uh, flavor, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Not great, not terrible. Uh, kind of right in the middle. Just tastes like peppers. Um, heat. First, it like starts off as like a 3. And then it ramps up. And this is about a 7 or an 8. It is all over my mouth. Uh, my nose is running. I'm sweating. It did this weird, <coughs> it's doing this weird thing now. It's where it's making me cough. Uh, and it, it's moved. It didn't start on my lips. And now it's like moving slowly off of my mouth into like onto my lips. And now my lips. And when I'm talking, it's just lighting my tongue on fire. Um, they're not wrong for calling this a hornet pepper. Because it feels like my mouth's getting stung by a thousand hornets right now. Oh, look at that though. Isn't that dope? That is so dope. Ah, wow. Woo, that's a hot one, guys. Good job. Good job on that, Marie Sharps. Good job. That is an awesome sauce. I'm proud of you guys for stepping out of the box and making something even hotter than what you've ever done before. All right, that wraps this one up. Thank you for joining me on this video of trying these new sauces. We will be back soon with another Hot Eats video.